Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. I'm doing this poem as part of a contest, so you're gonna watch me live as I go through my thoughts as I'm coding. Uh, there'll be an explanation near the end, and for more context, there'll be a link below on the actual screencast of the contest. Uh, how did you do? Let me know how you do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and here we go. Q1, uh, maximum product of two elements in an array. So this one is just greedy. Um, I, I think I, when I was, when I first opened this problem, I was deciding between, between two solutions, uh, basically the brute force n square one, and whether I could do sorting. Um, the sorting one has more edge cases if the numbers could be negative, but I, I think I checked that the numbers could be, uh, only be positive, and then I was like, okay, off we go. So we just sort, and then we ran, ran away with it. Uh, we sort, and we took the two biggest number, and then we just multiply it. So that's gradient that way. And then I submit pretty quickly after that. Uh, maximum product of two elements in array. Q1. So yeah, so this one, I just did it greedy. I just sorted the 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 array, and I take the uh, the biggest number, and then the sm second biggest number, subtract one, and then multiply them. Uh, the thing that I did look for was to make sure that these are positive numbers, because if you have negative, if you have negative numbers, this won't work. But as soon as I saw that it is positive, then I just did it, and it'll be okay. You could have also just did it with two fold of because n is equal to 500. Um, I, maybe I should have gone it, done it that way just because that would have been less thinking slightly, but I got it in about a minute, so I'm, I'm okay on this particular problem. But yeah, but you could do a brute force. I did it with sorting and choosing the maximal elements. Um, cool. Uh, this is a straightforward problem. This is n log n because I dominate, uh, or you get dominated by the sort. Um, but you could probably, in theory, quote unquote, write a linear time algorithm based on based on the fact that numbers can only go up to a thousand or something like that, right? So, but I think that's kind of half cheating, so whatever. <laughs> or like, you know, that's the size of your domain rather than linear per se. But, um, but yeah, straightforward problem. 